everyone, welcome back to the farm. This is the part two video of a uh, Craigslist plant haul from uh, yesterday. Uh, in the first part, which I'll link below, uh, I talked about all the edible plants that we got. Now I'd like to share with you some of the ornamental plants uh, that we got. Come in. So the first one, these were just g given to me for free. Well, not for, I mean, yeah. This is an orchid. Look at this beauty. This is an, a tree. It goes up in a tree. It doesn't go in the ground. So you would just tie this around the, the trunk of a tree or a branch of a tree. It's got all these roots. And it has this main branch part. And these, these are younger ones that are kind of growing off of the main one. You'll see this in a lot of orchids. But yeah, this you can basically just either set in the ground, but it really wants to be tied up to a tree. I love these flowers. She gave me this other one that's uh, similar. Got one long stem. Here's the part where the little baby came off. Still getting some things from the main stem, but also branching out root-wise. She said this one would be yellow-orange. Looking forward to it. Then I got... So this person had a freaking entire forest of anthuriums. Are you familiar with anthuriums? They are... I think I have a one with the flower. This variety is called tulip because it looks more like a tulip. I'll do a whole other video about the cut anthuriums we got. The cool thing about anthuriums is that they basically don't need as much soil. They I have a couple of these already. They, I just set them down on the ground in the shade, put a little bit of leaf litter on them, and they're happy to go. Um, they don't, they're not even in direct rain or anything. These are their rootlings that come out. And what she told me is that from a piece this long, you can actually cut this root part about in half, like there, from this long, and it'll grow new stalks from this side as well. So from these two plants that she gave me, I can make four plants, which is cool. The next one is something I've wanted for a long time. This is a staghorn fern. And sometimes you'll see them like really high up in a tree. I've kind of like looked at them longingly and they build up like on top of each other. So this, she had to pry, like cut off with the freaking saw. I don't even know where the roots are on this. Like what? This is what it looks like in the back. And these like to be just attached onto a tree. You can see this is where she cut it. It's a very cool thing. I think of it as the antler fern. I'm looking forward to finding a spot for it. So, I showed you the tiny anthurium. This one is very cool. I don't even know what this is. She doesn't know what it is either. This was a giant tree. She gave me a free cutting of it. Look at this cool flower. And it hangs over like that. Show the leaves. Neither of us have any idea what this plant is. If you know, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below. This one. She gave me cuttings. She said I could just stick this in the ground, cut it below the bottom one, and she cut a few of the leaves off, so make sure it has like a, this has what, three nodes on it? Um, yeah. That's the plan for this one. Oh, look who's joining. Look who's helping. It's Tux. How you doing, buddy? Tux. Say hi. Anyway, I believe that's all the ornamentals. Most of these I got as a little added bonus for free. I just wanted to share them with you because they're so cool and especially this one. This is just a wild plant. So interesting. All right. All right, thanks again. I'll come back and share more about the anthuriums that we got that are just cuttings. So I'll post a link to that.